Dali, the revolution, will be visual. Dali is a new name, a new label, a new application, that quite soon, could be as famous as Google, or Microsoft. So, what is Dali? And what can it do? Dali is a new artificial intelligence program that creates images from verbal instructions. It creates pictures from words. And not only that, it can create amazing images. Dali is capable of generating high-quality pictures of cats, dogs, birds, humans, and other common objects, as well as more abstract concepts, such as emotion or feeling. The program was named after the artist Salvador Dali, who is famous for stunning, surrealist paintings. This just underlines the potential of this new AI application for enhancing creativity and its ambitious goal to change the way we use images. Nonetheless, in trying to understand Dali as an image creation application, it's important to look at both the potential benefits and downsides. Dali can be a helpful tool for many different kinds of people. Artists and designers can use Dali to generate images of things that don't exist in the real world. Journalists and researchers can use Dali to create images of objects and situations that are difficult or impossible to photograph. People who are not fluent in English can use Dali to generate images from textual descriptions in multiple languages. Animators and video editors can use Dali to capture scenes of animals and people that are moving, as well as objects and things that are in motion. Scientists and engineers can use Dali to create pictures of things that are too small or too large to be seen with the naked eye. Explorers and adventurers could use Dali to visualize landscapes and geographical features located in remote or inaccessible locations. Psychologists and counselors could instruct Dali to create illustrations of people's memories. Set against these amazing benefits are some quite concerning downsides. Like social media feeds, Dali offers a constant stream of new content. So, it may be addictive and lead to compulsive use, which can, in turn, affect judgment and decision making. Additionally, Dali may increase anxiety and paranoia and cause hallucinations and delusions because it can create people and things that don't actually exist. And perhaps even worse, it can alter reality by changing the way people and things look so they are different to real life. Not only that, there are questions about infringing copyright as Dali's AI algorithms are trained on millions of images that already exist on the internet. It could be argued that it is copying images and styles of art created and owned by thousands of photographers and artists. To sum up, the potential benefits of Dali, which are almost infinite, seem to outweigh the downsides. With responsible use and proper regulations, Dali could be a helpful assistant for many people and society in general. It's possible that Dali will revolutionize the way we communicate, train, and create. For people with disabilities, Dali could provide a new way to communicate. For businesses and organizations, Dali could create more realistic simulations for training purposes. And for everyone, Dali could be used to inspire and develop new ideas and help with problem solving. Dali could also help make art more accessible to everyone.